welcome back to another episode of the Wrestling Collector Zone. Today what I have for you is a review. This review is on a future WWE, the FCW story. Um, I had not known about this documentary until the other night when I was going through um, some stuff on YouTube and listening to the Jim Cornette experience. I find it very interesting, especially, I think this is best paired if you actually go and listen to the Jim Cornette Experience podcast episode. He talks about this and then watch this documentary because he talks about the side of when right before WWE decided to end their deal with OVW and uh, start up Florida Championship Wrestling, basically, and have that as their um, training territory, you know, their training promotion. And it's real interesting, the things that Jim Cornette has to say that um, sides on WWE wouldn't admit to, but I don't see why Jim Cornette would have a reason to lie about it either. He was obviously working for like WWE partially slash he was uh, part owner of OVW at that time. And um, it was just real interesting to listen to that documentary and listen to the stuff that WWE was trying to pull and then that's why they decided to open FCW. And then FCW, they shipped all their wrestlers that were the, their developmental wrestlers down to Florida Championship Wrestling to train and to wrestle. It was a mighty interesting documentary. Um, they really, they mentioned OVW basically like one time essentially to an extent and that's when they say that basically they closed down which they didn't close down ovw and deep south wrestling they basically pulled out with their deals of having them as developmental territory and decided to start florida championship wrestling like i said it, it was really interesting the the footage they show, you know, you see the older footage of some of the wrestlers like Seth Rollins, uh, Hawkins, and uh, they don't show a whole lot of the wrestlers. They do show a few of the wrestlers, and then they do some inter uh, interviews and stuff like that. And this uh, documentary was put out on May 8th of 2020, and the one of the good things about this documentary was apparently they had been working on it over time or had all that like back footage of basically they had the footage of them interviewing Dusty Rhodes because Dusty Rhodes was working as the guy that did work with them on their promos and everything like that. So they had a lot of footage of Dusty Rhodes and them talking about working with those wrestlers and stuff and his experience. So that was definitely a plus on this um, documentary. And just overall, it was real interesting what they had to say basically about like how Florida Championship Wrestling worked and stuff like that. And it seemed like um, the, the, the guy that was running the company, he basically admitted that he was really cheap about it, frugal, because supposedly that, I don't know, it because you get mixed stories of supposedly this guy owned Florida Championship Wrestling, but at the same time, there has been things that have been put out there that said WWE owned Florida Championship Wrestling. And then, so it's really interesting to, you know, I don't know, like, you kind of hear mixed stories a bit of, about this. And it's, 
the basically the guy he admits he's cheap about everything that he can be and finds the cheapest ways to do everything overall it's an interesting documentary for the independence itself and then you know seeing some of the wrestlers that now are bigger names that seeing kind of what they went through during their time in developmental and um right leading up to before they opened nxt and everything decided to close down florida championship wrestling and open up nxt i think it's a good documentary but you know there's those mixed stories of two with like and that's why i'm saying that you should listen to the jim Cornette podcast before you watch this because he talks about the experience in OVW and where a lot of the wrestlers, they weren't really willing to put the work in to do the stuff and everything. But then supposedly like in Florida Championship Wrestling, they claim in this documentary that they were working hard day in, day out, putting all the work into it that they needed to, to get to where they needed to be and stuff like that. So that was really interesting on that side. And I think that, like I said, overall, I think if you're going to watch this documentary, go first and listen to the Jim Cornette Experience podcast about this documentary. Then watch the documentary and you kind of get a two-sided a little bit and an understanding of what was happening in an OVW and why Florida Championship Wrestling came to be versus just going upon the fact that they wanted to open up and Florida is kind of the way they make it sound like um, in this documentary. But according to Jim Cornette, that's not necessarily the case. So um, just, I would definitely listen to the doc listen to the podcast before you watch it but i would out of a rating on this documentary i like the documentary i would bounce be between a two and a three lariats um so basically like a 2.5 but if i had to lean more back towards it and have a solid number I would really say that this documentary gets like two lariats because it's not the best documentary that I've seen on the WWE Network, but it's not the worst either. It's definitely an interesting one to check out and one I would say you should not miss, especially if you like this type of stuff. Just check it out and don't miss it and just go to the documentary section on the WWE Network and you'll find it. It's called A Future WWE, The FCW Story. Thanks for watching you guys. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and make sure you guys stay safe out there. Take care.